Hello everybody! Does it happen to you that you are almost done with your editing, the video is perfect, but then you put the music and the song is like double the size, triple the size, or even bigger, and you have to match it with the video. So then you start to do these cut streams, you start to edit the song in the beats so it's not noticeable. It's a lot of work. Well, a few months ago, I did a video explaining how you can do it in a very easy way and it sounds like perfect using Adobe Audition. Well, now there is a new tool in Premiere Pro that is called Remix that is going to do that for you extremely easy. So let's don't waste time. Let's go to Premiere Pro to see how it works. Okay, guys, I have a few videos here that I already edited. I mean, I already cut it and trim it and put it exactly how I want. These are videos from Paris. Very nice. I'm going to mute this here so I can talk. <laughs> so there are videos of Paris. It's super nice. But look at the song. The song is huge. It's like four times the size of the video. It's incredibly big. So a lot of people are gonna press C for the razor or they can come here actually for the razor and then they just cut the song, erase this part and then they come here and they right click and put this transition. This is like a fading transition that actually you can also make it a little longer so it faded properly. But it's okay if you're doing a video for your family, but it's not professional. So let's go back to the song and I'm gonna show you now how can you do it extremely easy. Like all my tutorials, you will see, it's very easy. Now this remix tool came before already, a few months ago, but it was in a beta version. Just a while ago, it became part of the real Premiere Pro. You're gonna come here on the top where it says audio. If you don't see it here, you can come to window and you will find it under essential graphics. It says essential sound. Let's go to audio and this is what is going to open. As you can see, you have a list here, but you cannot press anything. Why? Because you didn't select the song. Let's select the song. Now we're going to click in music because that's what we want to change. This is what is going to open. What you want to change is the duration of the song, right? So you're gonna click here in duration. As you can see, Remix is saying that the song is four minutes, 11 seconds, and 15 milliseconds, okay? In some cases, when you press Remix, this is going to start thinking a little bit. Don't worry, it's actually analyzing the song so it can give you exactly the good parameters and exactly what the computer needs to understand about the song. Now, it says here plus minus five seconds. You have to pay attention in that because whatever you reduce, it has a error margin of plus minus five seconds. Let me tell you, in some cases it's perfect, some cases goes one second, two seconds more, but it's not a big deal. You can just stretch a little bit your videos and match it, but it's going to be amazing, you will see. So, the song is four minutes and 11 seconds, and the video, if you can see here, is uh, 43 seconds. So what you do is you come here, and you change this for instead of four minutes, you put 43 seconds, okay? This is what you do, 43 seconds. And then look at this, huh? look at, I want you to look here. <laughs> I didn't do anything, I just write it. You have to click here in the empty, okay? You click here, but you will see as soon as I click, you will see how fast is this tool. It's amazing. I'm gonna click it, done. Look at this, done. It's amazing. Now it has like few seconds extra, but that doesn't matter. Come on, you can stretch some of these videos and then that's it, you match it. But I will show you something. Let's go back here to uh, my workplace so I can expand this and I can show you. I will make it a little bigger and I will show you the cuts. And you tell me if you can hear that, that, that there is a cut there, okay? There's nothing, you cannot hear it. Don't tell me that you can hear it. Nothing, you cannot hear that there is a cut. Premiere Pro is making an amazing job, look at this. It's incredible, it's incredible. Now I'm gonna show you another way to do it, okay? Let's press Z, so we come to where we started, as you can see. Now, if you don't wanna go to audio, because audio is giving you more options, not just the remix, but you can edit the audio and everything, but if you don't wanna go to audio, if what you want to do is just to use the remix tool, you can come here, where it's the ripple edit tool, and now, if you click it, you will see that you have the remix tool here in the bottom. You click it, and now you have the remix tool. It's like a music symbol with a line, a red line on the top. Why? Premiere is telling you, you cannot use this here. So then when you come to the song here, oh, the line is gone. Now you can use it. You're gonna click it and push it, push it, push it until it matches your video. There you go. And by itself, immediately, as magic, already did the cuts and make the song perfect like we did it with this audio version here. Just using the tool here. This is incredible. What I'm impressed is the speed 
of how they do it. Look at this. If I click it, I want it bigger. Now, you know what? I want it a little bigger. I want it a little smaller. I want it again how it was. It's super fast. This is incredible. This, this tool is making my life so much easier and now I want to edit every day. So what do you think about this tool? It's crazy. If you don't have the new update of Premiere 2022, I will leave you a link around here with a video that I did a few months ago that you can actually do very similar what we did today using Adobe Audition. And now it's time. Subscribe and until next week.